How's it going everyone? I'm Dr. Henry with Drummond Chiropractic in Bloomington, Indiana, and today I'm going to talk to you about gaming and its postural effects. So if you have neck pain, back pain, wrist pain, this video is for you. So I'd like to start talking about the different types of gaming. So you have your PC gaming, obviously, then you have console gaming where you have your controllers, and there's uh, another one that people don't really think about is mobile gaming. And when people are mobile gaming, within 15 minutes, their posterior neck muscles start to fatigue, and they're actually 40% more active as they're trying to hold your head up. Mobile gaming is actually pretty bad for your posture as well, but I, today I'd really like to focus on PC and console gaming. So to start, we're gonna talk about your cervical spine. When you're gaming, and everybody knows, you go from that, that relaxed posture to that kind of try-hard posture where you, you sit forward like that, and then you roll your shoulders, and your head moves forward, and you lose your lumbar curvature. So I'd like to talk about the pain that that can cause in your neck, mid-back, and low back. So in your cervical spine, one of the big things that happens when you're, when you're gaming is you get that forward head posture, like I mentioned before. And that forward head posture can actually cause fatigue, tension headaches, it can cause joint fixation, and a whole you know, array of other problems. That comes with that gaming posture where you're leaning forward in gaming, or even in, when you're PC gaming and you're, you don't have the proper angle for your screen versus where your chair is oriented. And to fix those problems, you can focus on taking breaks more frequently, like preferably between games every 20 minutes, or you could even try every hour. But getting that movement into your spine is really great to try and combat some of that because studies have found that the fewer breaks people take, the more they have degenerative changes in their neck after a long period of time. So it doesn't have to be fancy, but it's very important to be frequent. And it could be a simple shoulder roll, you could do a chin tuck, you know, reps between every single game, get up, stand around, move your wrists. Just make sure that you're not sitting in that same exact position for hours on end. And for my PC gamers out there, I want to talk about mouse positioning. So some people think that this is true neutral for your wrist, but actually you need to cock that wrist up slightly. So make sure you're not overbearing down onto that mouse. You want to keep your wrist at neutral. Okay, next I want to talk about your thoracic spine here, which is your mid-back. And normally that starts up at the bottom of your neck, which gamers get a lot of problems up in that CT junction where your neck meets your middle back. Just because it's not an area that we mobilize very well on our own, and that's why you come see me at Drummond Chiropractic. More about the thoracic spine is your posture affects how your muscles act. So when you have that slouched posture for long periods of time, it affects how your scapula can move on your back, which is your shoulder blade. Really watch that hyperkyphosis, which is that increased curvature of your middle back, because that is caused by slouching and that can cause lots of joint fixation and problems in the future, which you really don't wanna have. Another study found that slouch posture really messed up people's shoulder blades and their mobility and strength. So they found that actually, the longer you slouch forward with that, with that posture, the less active your inferior muscles on your back are. So you're gonna have 15% less strength and you're gonna have 15% less mobility the longer you're slouching. All right, and let's move down to your lumbar spine, which is your low back, which should have a curvature in it. But when you have that forward posture and you're leaning forward, you lose that curvature and you lose some of those stabilizing muscles at the same time. So prolonged sitting and then st standing up and going and doing an activity, you're at more risk for injury. And a way to prevent that is to sit all the way back in your chair. So I like to say sit twice. So you sit on the front of the chair and you scoot the chair all the way underneath you so your back is up against the, the back of the chair. And speaking of chairs, you don't need to have an expensive chair to have something that supports you. Your chair should be fitted to your back. So you wanna look for something with lumbar support. You don't need all the bells and whistles and you wanna make sure that you can raise or lower the chair so that you're eye level with the screen you're playing on. Next, you wanna make sure that your knees and elbows are at 90 degrees and your feet are flat on the floor and your chair is pulled up to whatever you're playing on. So if you're playing at a desk, you wanna make sure that the desk is close to you. You don't wanna play with your arms outstretched like this. Make sure your elbows are at your side and bent at 90 degrees. You don't wanna to be too flexed because you can get biceps tendinopathy after playing video games for long periods of time. Another way to help your posture is to have your screen tilted backwards up to 13 degrees so that you can look down with your eyeballs instead of looking down with your head. And if you'd like to learn more about that, you can check out our link in the description, the link to our website, and you'll find plenty of resources to tell you how to position your chair and how to practice good posture. One more thing for your low back is when you stand up, you wanna really stretch those hip flexors because when you have your knees and uh, hips in a flexed position, then you start to over cramp those and you wanna make sure that they stay mobile and so they don't pull on your spine. And to summarize everything we've talked about, I want you to practice good posture, check out your, your gaming station ergonomics, and take frequent breaks to make sure that you're not going into that gaming posture of that flexion of your low back and neck. If you wanna prevent neck or low back pain or even carpal tunnel, then practice some of the things I've talked about today, or you can come in to get treated, or we can kind of screen you at Drummond Chiropractic and we'll take great care of you.